Hello YouTube, this is Weekend Shopper and here is my haul from this past weekend. Sorry I don't get these guys, this, this out to you guys earlier, um, but kind of busy so I have to kind of make time to do these hauls and other things in my life. So I think probably we're going to start as usual towards the back. Right here I picked this up at a garage sale the past weekend and it is a candelabra. It is made of brass and it was originally ten dollars. I purchased it for five. In the back there is a assortment of different little figurines and animals, mainly dogs. One in particular caught my eye. This is a Morton Studio. And they look, I know they can be pretty collectible. So each one I picked up at the same garage sale. That one was 50. The little dog in the back was 25 cents. And I kind of le left the prices on so you guys could see. And at the same garage sale, I also picked that up for 25 cents. I was hoping that it would have the matching um, girl shaker. So I think this is the pepper shaker. So it's missing the salt shaker. And in here we have a little Pyrex bowl from the same garage sale that was 75 cents. And a lamb that was... Oh, it says made in Japan. So a little vintage lamb. And then right below that, I have a, I believe it's called EAPG, which is Early American Press Glass. You can see it's really, really pretty. It was actually half off at a garage sale. I paid $2 for that. Right next to it is a Campanella Glass. Murano, Italy. It is missing the uh, stem, which I didn't realize that until I, after I purchased it, but that's okay. It was only 50 cents because I went to a privately listed estate sale and everything was pretty much 50% off. Over there we have uh, like a heart shaped paperweight. It is not signed or anything, but it was it's made really well. It did have a sticker on it. So I'll probably have to look more into that, and it has a hole towards the top, so I don't know if it actually held a candle. That was 50 cents, not the dollar, half off. And over here we have a um, crystal color, and I think that's also made in Italy. And that says originally $5, and it was half off, so $2.50. And all of these so far have come from the same private estate sale. This is this one's really cute. It's a little penguin. You can see like the little penguin figurines. Inside there. It's a nice cute paperweight. Uh, I didn't see a, a signature on it, but it was uh, 50 cents. And then over here is, I believe it says Interpure, or Interpure, made in Taiwan. Really cute iridescent type of um, flower, just for decorative reasons, I guess. And all of those were from the same private estate sale. In the back here I have a Tiffany and Company made in Germany and it's like a glass decanter and it is uh, marked on the bottom Tiffany and Co. And I went to a warehouse sale where uh, this gentleman was closing his business and he had a lot of different types of items and electronics, computers, 
And I just saw this sitting there and I said, oh, okay, well, how much? And he said, $5. I'm like, I'll take it. So it's a nice little Tiffany piece. And at the same sale, I found this piece, which is signed. And it says L.1965. Sorry, shut my camera off. Um, getting back to this hand gliding or hang gliding picture. The gentleman that took the picture, his name is Aldot, and it was taken in 1965. I don't know who the, the person is that is actually flying the hang glider, but that was originally he was asking four dollars for it, and I paid three. And anybody who you know is a collector of any type of aeronautical items or you know types of pictures and stuff like that would probably you know appreciate that I know I did and I don't collect this stuff normally in the back here we have another Murano piece I bought that at a garage sale for two dollars in the front here is a planter by New Devon England Thought it had a nice art decory look to it, so picked that up for a dollar. Back here is a Fenton Angel. And as you can see, it does have the sticker. And it is also um, stamped on the inside and it has a signature and I believe the signature is J. Powell so those uh, Fenton pieces are rather collectible and I paid two fifty for that in the front here I have um, a figurine or a bust of a woman and I found out that it is made by Corday I've never heard of them but apparently um, they make really really pretty figurines very detailed you can also see it in the face how detailed it is she's so pretty that was a dollar ninety nine at a thrift store I purchased this British Sterling, it looks vintage to me, soap on a rope. That was a dollar. And then at that warehouse sale, he also had a lot of these um, air fresheners and fragrances and all kinds of different stuff. Um, I think he said he was, it was a steel company of some sort, so I got that for 50 cents. I got several of them actually for 50 cents, so I just wanted to show you one because the table is so cluttered. Uh, let's see what next. Oh, here you go. And then at a garage sale, I picked this up for, I believe, $2. It is sealed. It's H2O Oasis Dewy Duo, and it is a lip conditioner and a hydrating treatment for the face. That's currently on Amazon for, I believe, like $30 to $35. Good deal. Here we have a Too Faced, which is, you know, really popular cosmetic. And there's different lip colors in there, lipsticks. I believe it was their um, Christmas line. That was a dollar. And in the front here, I have a Guerlain Paris cologne. It says Aqua, oh my gosh, Allegoria. So that was two dollars. And it's pretty full. 
And you can find these on eBay between $25 to $30. In the front here, um, I went to a thrift store and I picked this up. It was $4.99 with, I think it was 20% off, because I do a lot of donations, so uh, typically they'll give you a coupon if you donate, so I got an extra, or should I say I got 20% off of that. And it used to hold some sort of powder some sort of facial powder. Below that is a vintage sunglass or eye glass holder. That was a dollar, I believe, one dollar. And again, getting back to that uh, warehouse sale, um, he had a whole bunch of these, which they're pretty great. Um, you put them onto your sunglasses, so if you need to have some sort of readers, um, they, they adhere to the inner part of the, the uh, glass itself, and you can uh, read. So these were 50 cents each, and on eBay right now they're going for about $14.99. So I have one, two, three of the 1.25s and one, two, three of the 2.00s. Over here we have a Canon PowerShot S100. And this one came with this one. Um, which is the Canon PowerShot ELPH 110 HS. This one's 16.1 megapixel. Oh, here I go again with the megapixels. Megapixels! And uh, I can't remember what this one I think this one was 12, if I'm not mistaken. I can't remember. But anyway, I got them both, and they do work perfectly well. Um, I got those both for $20. Really, really good deal. And over here from a garage sale, I got, oh, by the way, these were at that privately listed estate sale. And here I have a JVC a Vireo S model GZ MS230. Uh, this is a camcorder. In the original box, um, some very minimal scratches, but other than that, it's in great condition. And I paid $8 for that. So on eBay, probably about, I don't know, $50. 40 to 50 Um, again from the warehouse sale, picked up some safety glasses. And I think these were 50 cents a piece. They are brand new, so there's three of them. Also from the warehouse sale, um, these air purifying, air purifying respirator cartridges. That was four dollars. At a garage sale, we got these Echo Smart Pens, and I actually got two of these. These are pretty neat. It's four gigabyte. And did pay up for these. I paid $35 a piece, so I do have two of those. In the back here, we have an Eric Javits handbag. And it has that, that certain texture of the, um, of the actual uh, material. I don't, I don't know what it's called, but... Anyway, this looks actually brand new. It's in great condition. I paid $3 for that. And in the back here, I have about 15 
Nintendo DS games. It might be a little bit more than 15, but the entire bag was $5. That's a really incredible deal. And that was at that privately listed estate sale where I got the uh, cameras from too and some of the some of the glassware. Now onto the jewelry, which is a lot. Um, so I uh, went to the thrift store and I bought several jewelry jars for a total of about $65. I think I bought four of them. And I got a lot of this from there. So we'll start with the back. Um, this little postcard, it's from 1916 with a vintage stamp on it. That actually was in a jewelry jar. Go figure, right? This here, it's a pretty nice bracelet. It's a panel bracelet that was in the jewelry jar. These earrings, very strange looking things, but nonetheless, they were in a jewelry jar and they are marked. I have no idea who this is, but they were in there. And here's some funky looking earrings, also in the jewelry jars. They are clip on. Look like, oh, 70s, 80s. Over here is a three strand necklace. There is no marks, but it's made well. It's really, really pretty. It's got some rhinestones in it. Those are faux pearls. This is a Koro piece. It is, it is stamped coral. The only thing is it is missing some stones, so kind of disappointed about that one. A lot of religious items I got out of the jewelry jars. Um, a good amount of it was sterling. Some of it I still have to test. Uh, this one here is definitely sterling. It is marked sterling. Uh, this I'm not sure of. I didn't test this one. That one's not obviously sterling. This one might be. I'm not sure. This one here is marked sterling. And it is the chain and the actual pendant itself. And the pendant is broken up into three, divided into three, which I thought is really neat. So that was part of the jewelry jar. These little sterling earrings were also part of the jewelry jar. This necklace, it's pretty, actually it's quite chunky. It's pretty heavy. That is sterling. This little piece here with the necklace. is also sterling. And this one here, another sterling piece. Um, again, there's like a little separation of the pendant. And it is marked sterling on there somewhere. That was also, you know, part of the jewelry jar hauls. This one was very, really, really cool. Um, it is a vintage piece, uh, probably someone who had worked for Illinois Bell for quite a long time. I don't know if the stones are real, but it is marked on the back, and it's CTO 1 tenth 10 karat gold, so it is gold filled, and the chain is... I believe 1 20th 12 karat gold filled. So maybe this alone for any collectors out there um, might be worth about 60 to 70 dollars possibly. Don't know. And then I got two 
gold fill chains. And then this bracelet back here from the jewelry jar. Another bracelet. It's just stretchy with some inset rhinestones. This little charm bracelet, which is from Hawaii. I don't think it's sterling. I have not tested it, so I don't know. And all these little bits and pieces from the actual jewelry jar. I think this is a fossil uh, necklace. I haven't even taken them apart yet, so. And I think that's pretty much that. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Down here, I have a rosary. This one's really well made. Um, do you like this one? I don't know what exactly. I mean, it might be wooden beading. But it is made well found these earrings but they don't seem to match there's black stones in this one and there's <laughs> like a clear rhinestone in these so I don't know. here we have an angel two sets of earrings and these have little rhinestones in them this is just a clear stone this necklace here now, mind you, I did get a lot of stuff, but it was mostly junk, so I don't want to put you guys through that. And this bracelet here, and then these really funky, cool-looking copper earrings. And that's pretty much what I got out of the... Oh, no. Here we go again. This is the last piece. All of these in here... Um, all these clasps and jumpers and um, some earring pieces. Um, they're either gold filled or sterling. So I got that out of all the jars except for these items here. These other type of barrel clasps, they're not. Everything else is gold filled or sterling. So I guess overall, you know, not a bad deal out of that. I was hoping for more, but you know, you, you get what you get with jewelry jars. Uh, here's a Leah Sophia necklace. I got that for a dollar. This is a sterling silver and those are diamonds. I believe they're diamond accent and sterling silver chain. And it shows up it shows up really pretty um, in real life. It's just you can't really see it very much when you're filming it. But it is, it is very pretty. And I paid a dollar for that. Right next to it is a sterling silver with a heart chain. That was a dollar. And that was from garage sales. And this one uh, is a Trafari dual strand. That was a dollar. This rosary is an Aurora Borealis. And this one is, is super pretty. It's really, really nice. Um, I paid $2 for that one. From a garage sale, this little sea bead, uh, like it's sort of like intertwined necklace. That was a dollar. This was also a dollar. Um, this is stone. I don't know what kind of stone it is, but it's stone. It was also a dollar. This one was a dollar from a garage sale. And this, 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 and some of the other things I'm going to show you was from the same garage sale. Um, I don't know what the beading is. Um, maybe this is possibly Native American. I don't know. But it was worth a dollar. This set was a dollar. 
This is actually turquoise. It's all turquoise. Um, this turquoise really doesn't match as much to the necklace, but it did come together, so this was all a dollar. This is sterling. I don't think this is. It's not marked anywhere, so. But it is real turquoise. Here's another stone necklace. Um, clasp is not sterling, but it's definitely stone. I don't know if it's onyx or somebody dyed the stone coloration on it. I don't know. But, but that one was a dollar, and all of those I got from the same garage sale. Up here, um, I have some sterling 925. They were uh, $7.99 originally with um, my 20% coupon, so I thought they were really cute. And they have like a gold wash on them, too. Um, another garage sale. These are sterling with black onyx. Those were $2. This cuff necklace, um, that was originally $4.99, I want to say, and then I got 20% off of that. Um, I have not tested this for sterling, but I'm pretty sure it's probably not. I could be wrong. I don't know. From a garage sale, early, early in the morning, even before she opened up, and she was very, very nice about it, but I picked this up. It is a Bolova, and it still works, and it's engraved on the back, and you can see it's a 10 karat Rogo plate, a very unusual looking design to a Bolova. Sorry, hold on a second, guys. Let's fix that. Okay, so there you go. And then at the same garage sale, I found this. And it's from 1977. That is also gold filled. That was free. Same garage sale, that was free, and that was free. There's nothing special about these two. That's just a stone and. It's just some sort of plastic with a little gold engraving in it. This one was amazing. Um, went to a garage sale and immediately saw the design in front. I'm like, oh, that's some sort of Scandinavian, maybe Norway. And um, I was right about that. It's Eichten, Norway. And it is pewter, it is not sterling silver or anything, but regardless, it is Scandinavian, and um, I know for a fact that a lot of that jewelry is, is pretty valuable now. So I paid $2 for that, and it is worth about $80 on eBay. And the friend here, I have a nice little cloisonne, probably made in China. Rather heavy, but I thought the design was really pretty. I paid a dollar for that. Um, this was just a little sterling silver bracelet, which I bought with that stuff there. Um, I think that was like 50 cents. It's just a kind of a lucite, I guess, type of vintage look to it. Probably is vintage, actually. Here is a Trafari brooch. If I could, could. My apologies guys, um, had, uh, had to delete some files from my camera since I had a previous video on there and pretty much killed the memory. So we were getting back to the uh, Trafari brooch. I know that these are pretty rare and um, a lot of times since Trafari is such high quality, it's really well made type of um, custom jewelry. Uh, these brooches go for a good amount of money. And I think maybe possibly I could get about $80 for that, but it was $3 at that privately listed estate sale. 
Here is just a regular brooch. I think it was 50 cents. Um, looks like it was made in Scotland. This is a BSK brooch. They do make some pretty good jewelry. Costume. It is marked. That was a dollar. I'm not sure exactly what this is. If anybody happens to know, it is tiny. I mean, you can see from my nail. Um, it's probably the length of my nail across, which might be seven eighths of an inch. Um, I can tell it's old. And on the front of it, it has a lion with a coat of arms and a unicorn, which I believe that is um, from Scotland, possibly. So if anybody knows anything about these, I don't know if it's gold. I'm going to have to test it to see whether or not it is. But that was, I believe, 50 cents. Then I have a little things here and there. Um, this is a shell that was made into a brooch and made to look like a turtle. <laughs> kind of cool. Um, sterling. Just a regular sterling ring. There's nothing much to it. It's just a band. And then here, I um, don't know where that's from, but that also came from the privately listed estate sale. That was a dollar. And just a little costume ring with a stone in it. And here we have a shell belt with maybe, I don't know, if that's puka or if that's actual. Maybe puka is a type of shell. I don't know. I have no idea, but that was a dollar, and I got that from where I got all these items from. A little hat pin. You know, those can be collectible. Uh, an Avon bracelet. And that was, I think it was two dollars. So that concludes my haul for last week. And if anybody knows any information about any of these items, please let me know, especially when it comes to the jewelry, because I, I try to research as much as possible, but, you know, sometimes you just come to a dead end. And I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment, or subscribe. You guys have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.